Do you find it annoying when aisle seat passengers board first? It seems to slow down the boarding process as it requires them to get up from their seats to allow window and middle seat passengers in. Well, one of the largest airlines in the world is bringing back a popular boarding method that will address this issue. Indeed, United Airlines confirmed to Simple Flying recently that it would be updating its boarding groups to speed up the process following a successful small-scale trial. So, what's going to change? Let's find out for today's video. Well, the first three boarding groups will actually stay the same, but Group 4 will be split into two, and a sixth group will be added for basic economy passengers. This is how the boarding groups are set to be organized when the changes roll out on October 26th. First is pre-boarding. Customers with disabilities and unaccompanied minors, active duty military, global services members, families with children under two, and Premier 1K members. Group 1 is Polaris Business, First, Business Class, Mileage Plus Platinum, Gold and Star Alliance Gold. Group 2 is Premier Silver, Star Alliance Silver, Passengers with Premier Access or Priority Boarding, and select co-branded credit card holders. While Group 3 consists of passengers at window seats, exit row seats, and non-revenue passengers. Then Group 4 will be middle seat, Group 5, the aisle seats, and Group 6, basic economy on domestic flights. As you can see, the major overhaul comes with the return of the boarding window and middle seats before the aisle seats. This helps reduce complexity and save time as passengers are not getting up as frequently to let passengers into the middle and window seats as the plane fills up. This is United's Wilma system. This is an acronym or collection of letters that is somehow supposed to mean window, middle, aisle. The order of letters seems a little off, but that's what it means. This system is being implemented following a trial across four domestic destinations and one hub. The research found that the system cuts up to two minutes of boarding time, resulting in higher customer satisfaction scores. The airline confirmed that passengers who booked multiple tickets on the same economy reservation will board in the same group, which will be the highest applicable boarding group excluding basic economy customers in boarding group 6. This is welcome news for families, as there is a continued push for airlines in the US to ensure families are seated together. The airline previously used this method before introducing basic economy seating in 2017. According to USA Today, the computer systems used by United at the time only allowed the airline to board with a maximum of five groups. This has since been rectified, resulting in the new changes being rolled out system-wide. What do you think of this change over at United Airlines? Should other carriers be doing something similar? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.